all right guys uh this is uh ego martial arts once again team butters and uh so what are we doing well today we are going to cover some basic self-defense techniques about one 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 hand collar grip and two hands collar grip yeah yeah so uh if you're doing martial art out there and uh, you're not being taught how to defend yourself outside remember if you just a uh, martial art practitioner and you're not doing self-defense techniques you better go and join a dancing school banner because uh, you'll be kicked your ass will be kicked my friend here we are badass kickers <laughs> yeah. so uh, finally before he completes I want to say that uh, when you're watching this video please remember to subscribe uh, like share and comment but before you comment remember to uh, absorb what is useful, discard what is useless, and add uh, what is specifically of your own. Yeah. Yeah. Just just a little reminder of what my friend Evans has said. Martial art is basically for self-defense, but a lot of martial arts nowadays has become sport. More sports. It's more of sports. It's yeah. more of sports than martial arts. Yeah. So try to do something that can save your ass. Out there in the street. In the street, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So don't don't forget to subscribe and then don't forget to train self defense. Don't just do martial art and jump jump there doing sports. You do sport is good for your health and stuff and to keep you refreshed. But the main the primary reason why we're doing martial art is for self defense. You know, uh, in as much as you're not going to fight anybody, but that uh, the territory that you have, nobody can penetrate it. Yeah. yeah. So thank you and uh, stay tuned. So yeah. Thank you, Sin. All right, guys, uh, be watchful here. So your opponent, the opponent is pushing you, with the, uh, grabbing you with the one hand. Four, four, huh? one hand. Sorry, uh, your opponent is grabbing you with one hand, like he's doing that. So you don't wait until he pulls that trigger, your, the punch. You don't wait for that. Once he grabs you like that, just come and fold here, and then have this arm here, and then lift this a little bit, and then sink down, and then turn it that way. Once you turn it that way, you take a drop kick to the head. So you'll be like, shoo. Nice one. Thank you. Well done. Well, well, when when a, when an opponent grabs you, grabs your collar using one hand, what you simply do is very simple. You step. You choose your favorite leg, and you step backward. As you step backward, you pull your opponent towards you, and as you pull your opponent towards you, it's it's like a shock to him. So if I do this, if I do this, if I do this, one. It's like he has sub submitted or, or he has given himself unto me. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use my front leg to strike right inside this groin. One. Pah. Pah. That's how you can save your ass. Yeah. All right, technique number two. We have uh, two hands collar grab. Two hands collar grab. Yeah. That. All right, what we did, or what I just did, uh, an opponent is coming, holding you with two hands. Don't start fighting him because he's maybe he's very strong, stronger than you. Yeah. So you just lift this a little bit and then pull it like that. You can as well break this using that technique. So you come and then twist with your hip. You turn your body all the way out. You do that. And then you don't face that direction, you do that and look at your opponent and then lift this up to the groin and then pull back. Okay? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so this one is very simple. When your opponent grabs your collar, what you do is this is very simple. You lift this one up simultaneously with the other one. You take the other one down like this. One. Ha. You see, he loses control. Grab me again. 
one, pa. But remember, I'm doing this as I take my stance. So when I'm here, I'm gonna do one, pa. Then right to the ground, pa. This is a grown guy. He is not. Bu he's busy with those groins, man. <laughs> if you have your groins being exposed out, be very careful when you're facing him. Be careful with your groin and balls. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, we would want to ask you once again to subscribe and uh, share with people, so people can get to know uh, self-defense techniques. So remember, knowing something is uh, not enough. Apply it. Willing to do it is not important. It's important to do it. Then everything will be okay. And remember, remember to leave your views at the comment. Yes, sir. Yeah, views and suggestions. Badass. Badass. <laughs> okay.